So there are two types of low C extension. One is known affectionately as the ski ramp. Uh, it can have just a string going round the scroll and then it has a series of capos. So we start with C. itself. So the advantage of that is if you have say a D passage you can put on the D capo and do octaves very quickly. Um, and yes you've got you can change the, the pedal note to whichever one you want. Um, one of the disadvantages is the amount you have to move. So, for example, this passage in Shostakovich Fifth Symphony involves quite a lot of big shifts. So I'll do it slowly once so we can see it. So. Which, at speed, takes a lot of quick movement and la over large spaces. So here we have a fantastic bit of craftsmanship, um, a beautiful low C machine by Martin Penning. Um, yeah, like the other um, extension, it goes through the scroll. At the top you see the pulley that it goes round, goes through the scroll, then onto the uh, A peg, which is the top tuner here. And then you've got a series of capos. So if I can just find this one, that's your E plug. Um, that one opens to give you D, um, D sharp or E flat. And then chromatically down to C. It can be very, very versatile. For example, if you want to play D octaves, you can lock on the D plug and then you've got the chance of playing D octaves or, or similar. Uh, capo means the, the new nut, if you like, um, like barring, you know, it's a, it's a false nut. What I really like about this one is the, the handy placement for your thumb that gives you some security. Um, other times you will have to put your thumb on the back of the, the button maybe um, most makers put the string through the scroll and then it goes onto the A peg, which takes a bit of getting used to. So you wind the C the normal way away from you for sharpening and the A is then on the E tuner. It just puts a, a little bit uh, less strain on the string and works really well. Yeah, this type of extension is much favoured by um, the younger generation, I suppose we could call them. Um, fantastic machines um, with some scope for, more scope for tuning than the um, XC extension machines. Uh, obviously here you can move your finger uh, and you could slide, you could play glissando. Um, so in many respects, versatile and uh, fun to play and quite easy to to lock on these various um, capos there we go the low C extension the other type of extension is um, a mechanical extension um, that can be closed to an E opened to a C and then a series of levers pressed down C sharp, D, E flat or uh, the closed E if you need that. Um, this particular machine has clock springs in here and is quite an efficient machine. It's very, very um, highly engineered and as long as you 
um, keep it regularly maintained and oiled and adjust these grub screws and the springs in here when needed. It can work really, really well. Next to the ski ramp extension that we have here, um, we've got an older type of extension. Um, it's called a low C machine. Uh, if we move across to that one, um, again, the same system, you'll, see, you'll notice the string going through the scroll and then through a pulley at the top. Um, here is a pulley. Um, the string is stopped um, on a, yeah, there's a false nut there. And then we can open this plug here, which converts it from a, an E to a C. And then you've got a series of um, chromatic buttons. So this lever here presses down that bottom lever to give a C sharp. D gives us a D lever, a series of concentric rings, then the E flat or D sharp, and then the E one if we're moving quickly, rapidly throughout those um, chromatic passages. Of course, it has a disadvantage. You can't um, stop any of those. Um, you can't have them as capo. Say, for example, here, I could put the capo on and play D octaves, where on the um, low C extension machine, I would have to keep one finger down and then jump. So uh, I, 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 I've always played the low C extension until recently, and I'm enjoying the challenge of using them both. Here we have a magnificent low C machine, um, originally invented by Poit Glacial in Germany, and has been developed over many, many years. So the basic idea is the string goes over the top of the scroll, like we see here, coming through the scroll, and coming into the A peg. Um, so you have to swap over your A and your C strings. Um, and then if I just find this here, there's um, a lever here to open for the C string. And then um, chromatically, if we press this lever, presses down C sharp, then D, E flat, and then the E again if we want to have the machine open. Quite often we end up playing, fingering the E under there, just gives us some more options when um, moving quickly. So that's the, the low C machine. Less favoured now than it was, uh, very much favoured in London um, about 20 years ago and now many players have gone over to the, the ski ramp without this um, machine here. But still highly engineered. If you see here, these are clock springs, internal clock springs that you can tension um, and it's very finely engineered, a beautiful piece of engineering and really smooth. So as long as you keep them well maintained and oil through the, the various oil spots that you have here, the fix the fixings, um, the bearings, you can see there. Um, yeah, and obviously you have to look after it, <laughs> um, but it can be very versatile um, and extremely efficient.